Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. A very exciting day for me because today I am now officially considered fully vaccinated. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine two weeks ago now. I'll link that vlog in the description if you haven't seen it. But because that vaccine is just one dose, the CDC says once you're two weeks out from that dose, you are fully vaccinated. And that is today for me, which is such a huge relief, super, super exciting. And it doesn't mean like, woohoo, COVID's over, no masks, party, party. But what it does mean is that my risk level of contracting COVID is significantly lower than before. And that if I did happen to still get COVID, it would be much less severe because I have the vaccine. And navigating the world right now, really like a big part of it is just risk assessment. And for me and Steven and our, our family unit, we decided that with cases going down so much where we live and now me being fully vaccinated, he's gotten his first dose. He should be fully vaccinated in the next couple weeks. We've decided that with cases going down so much where we live and then me also having the vaccine, that brings the risk level down to a point where we feel comfortable kind of stepping out of our bubble a little bit and expanding things a little bit. Wearing a mask in public still and, you know, following all the guidelines for vaccinated people from the CDC and just making sure we're being responsible in protecting the rest of our community, but going out in public more and, and seeing more of our friends and family and doing uh, things that we haven't done in over a year. All things that we're allowed to do and places that are, are open. Things that a lot of people have been comfortable doing for months now with just their personal risk level and then the risk level of their family and their bubble. But for me personally, and where my risk level was with being pregnant, I just didn't feel comfortable doing those things and until now. <laughs> Sorry, the camera just totally got shifted. So that being said, I, I'm really excited to be able to open up some of those doors again that have been closed for like a year. And that kind of starts today. So my plan for the day, I'm right now in the parking lot actually for this vegan rooftop restaurant that is one of my favorite places. For anyone else who lives in San Diego, it's called Trilogy. It's fantastic. And I haven't been there since, gosh, when was the last time I went? Probably January of yeah, 2020, January 2020. And I used to love to go and just, it has a beautiful view. It's all outdoors. The food is fantastic. I would go and bring my laptop and just like, you know, check my email, get some work done, have some good food, take in the ambiance. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do today for probably about an hour or so. Then I actually have a nail appointment, which I am probably way too excited about, but I don't know. That's just one of those things that I, I've been really, really looking forward to. And then definitely the most exciting thing uh, of the day for me. Uh, this evening, my family's gonna come over and see Baby Girl's Nursery for the first time. And because most of my family is also vaccinated and their risk levels are, are really low, I'm gonna hug them, which I, I've, I'm, that's the, that's gonna be the highlight of my day. I'm gonna hug my family. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for them to come into my house. <laughs> see the nursery and you know just just chat and hang out and so I feel like I've been rambling for way too long let's go let's go experience the uh the joy that is some outdoor dining <laughs> My nails are done. I went with this really pretty kind of like dark navy blue color and it was just wonderful. Just a really great experience to just sit back and feel like pampered for a little bit. You know, I've painted my nails a little bit throughout the pandemic, throughout the past year. I did press-ons for a little while too and that was fun. But there is something just special about you know getting my nails done again and uh it was funny the woman who was doing my manicure when she was like cleaning up my cuticles she literally showed me the amount of like cuticle that she had picked off because it had been so long since my nails had been truly like tended to so that was kind of gross but fun <laughs> and now i actually just hit up starbucks on the way home because i i have been so groggy all day today i thought it was gonna wear off by the time like i sat down and had lunch and hung out at Trilogy, which by the way, those tacos I showed were delicious. But uh, the grogginess really only got worse throughout the day. The pregnancy insomnia has been real the past, the past couple weeks especially. I usually wake up at least once in the middle of the night to pee and lately I have had so much trouble going back to sleep after I get up. So like last night we went to bed, I think we didn't go to bed till like midnight 
and then I woke up at four to go pee and then I couldn't go back to sleep. So I think I am inching my way towards an afternoon nap possibly, <laughs> but um, I decided to stop at Starbucks, get a little pick me up. I got that strawberry acai refresher that I have been really obsessing over, over the past, it's been like a month now that this has been my go-to. It is mm, just so sweet and tasty and has like the perfect amount of caffeine for me. So I guess I'm probably not gonna take an afternoon nap if I'm drinking this, but you know what? It's a good day and Starbucks can only make it better. So I am gonna head home now, relax for a little bit, maybe organize some more of the baby stuff that Steven had moved into the dining room last night. Kind of start putting more stuff away into baby girl's nursery and uh, let my nesting kick in because I, <laughs> I live for that kind of stuff and I'm so happy that the nursery is done and I can, commence with the nesting and the organizing and the the prep for baby so might do a little bit of that might just sit on the couch and scroll tiktok and then uh my parents and my brothers will be coming over in like an hour and a half look who's here it's my family and austin's on his way and now we're about to show them the nursery but i'm gonna film this way since you guys still haven't you guys vlog still have not seen it look at those doors they're so smooth. wow oh <laughs> what do you think? This is incredible. Oh wow. my gosh. So beautiful. All right, we are having sushi. The whole family is here. Austin with a haircut. Yeah, man. Wowee. Yeah, Minus one, Megan is in Colorado. But I did give her a tour of the room on uh, FaceTime. So You did? She was the first one to see it. Oh, that's so Like cool. an hour after we saw it, she FaceTimed me. <laughs> it has been a long long time since a family dinner like this i i just couldn't be happier and i'm 90 percent sure there's sushi in my teeth so i'm gonna stop vlogging now <laughs> also by sushi i mean an avocado roll uh don't come for me i'm not eating raw fish while pregnant <laughs> did you miss your grandpa bruzy yeah, she's smiling. <laughs> yeah she is <laughs> she's <laughs> we're all on the couch now watching some home video from when i was born and uh, like in the hospital and stuff, and then taking me home to meet my brother. Very weird that I'm about to do that same, well, similar thing. <laughs> did, uh, did George take interest in this age or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's me Yay. at six months. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. Hi. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I love you. Like, Thanks for birthing me. <laughs> that oh, was so nice. That I was so you. fun. I love you. I think we should go spend some time and like, I don't know, set up things in the baby room. Yeah, I had talked about that earlier on the vlog. I didn't end up doing any of the nesting and organizing before my family came over. But uh, Steven's kind of down to do some now. I definitely am. So, uh... Yeah, it's weird because yeah, we... I, I just want to spend some time in there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, me too. It's weird because we can't show any of it yet because we haven't oh, revealed the nursery. So Right. We won't be able to show any of the organizing and stuff that we're doing. But I think what I'll do is when the Mr. Kate video goes live, we'll do a nursery tour and show all the organization stuff. Mm -hmm. So you guys will still see it. You just won't see the process of us like actually doing it. <laughs> so let's get to that and we will check in with you guys tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Hello, good morning. It is the next day. We are in Target right now. Last night after we filmed that clip, we got in like full nesting organizational mode. Steven did like almost all of baby girl's laundry. Like most of her clothes are, are washed and ready to be put away. We opened up a bunch of the stuff that was still in boxes. We like kind of planned, like made an organizational plan. And then we sat down on the computer and like ordered the last few things that were on our list for what we want to get before she gets here. And so now we're at Target getting the things on that list that we didn't want to buy online and we wanted to get in person so right now we are in the baby aisle steven and i are looking at all the fun little baby things what's that the little hatch sound machine oh yeah that's the one i wanted to get i think we should get it yeah all right let's get it so i tested the one on the baby camera and it's not good <laughs> that's another thing steven did last night he set up the uh the baby monitor camera and like mounted it to the wall and everything behind the crib and i got the little blood blisters show up for <laughs> <laughs> How do I know? Oh, zero plus. She can play with it now. <laughs> I don't think that was on our list of things we need, but uh. So this thing's kind of dope. 
you know what? If you feel strongly about it, hon, I don't think you've picked out any of the toys for her yet, so. Yeah. Boom. Be my guest. Next thing on our list, we are buying one box of diapers in each size just so that we have those on hand. And then we're gonna get a couple boxes of newborn diapers. That way I can kind of organize her changing station, get everything set up for when she gets here. And then also we need wipes. Steven's picking out a bottle brush. I think he's a little overwhelmed at uh, all the options. <laughs> yeah, we got bristle, we got sponge. You know what? I think this $2.99 one pack will probably be just fine. Ooh, this is cool. These are brushes that look like cactus. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's five times the price. <laughs> yeah, three dollars for fifteen dollars. But the cactus does look cute. And like we have this grass like thing, right? Yes, we have already one of these, Some and then branches. yeah, the like branches to hang them on. So we have one box already, just that someone got us of the zero size, and then. Because like if baby came now, we'd we'd be covered. We have something. <laughs> okay, box of newborn. We already have one of these boxes at home. Toys That's your that. toy. And then size two. <laughs> Steven. We haven't even got out of the store yet, and I'm regretting us getting that. N two, three. And we should get one, size one, two. We'll just do N one, two. N one and two, sure. And then wipes. Oh my gosh, that is just a thousand pounds of wipes. <laughs> We're planning on doing a diaper subscription, so they just get delivered to us, but we want to have at least a couple boxes on hand to start us out, and then also one box in each size so that as she sizes up, we're never, uh, we're never caught without. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you can always just run to Target and get more yeah. if we end up under, under buying here. I'm personally not too worried. See, if it was me, I'd just buy like five boxes of each just to be safe because I'm a planner. <laughs> Steven keeps me grounded. <laughs> All right, we got the diapers, we got the wipes, we got the sound machine, we got the bottle brush. Last thing really on our list here is I just wanna get some little like smaller organizational baskets for the like breastfeeding and diaper changing cart that I'm putting together. It's like a little caddy with all of those little essential things. And then also some sort of small basket to act as a laundry hamper for baby girl. What you doing back there, bucko? I wanna find a small little trash can. Oh, a little trash can for the downstairs bathroom? Yeah, I wanna have a little lid. Yeah. With all the things we ordered last night when we sat down at the computer too, we also got the diaper genie. We got a bouncer. We got, I'm trying to think what else. Bunch of those last purchases that we had been waiting on. And so, wait, Steven, the trash cans are right here. Perfect. So this is the little cart caddy that I got, except I got mine in white. And this is gonna have like my breastfeeding stuff, my pump, and then also um, like some diapers and wipes. And I wanted to get some smaller little like baskets to keep it more organized so that there's not just like a million little things spilled here, but they don't really have any bins or baskets that are small enough that they would really add any extra division. Like this is kind of perfect how it has like the different cubbies, but I think this is a little bit too long. Like it wouldn't fit. So I think I'm not gonna get anything for it. I'm just gonna start and try and organize the, the cart as is without, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> These little trays right here, would be like perfect. They have some different sizes too. I'm gonna get one of these. Ooh, these need to be washed out. <laughs> the two pack of these longer ones. I'll get the three pack of these medium ones and then maybe one, nah, actually no. Those ones are too small to really fit that much stuff in, but I think this will be good. But do I want the white so that it matches or do I want this pretty light pink and then it'll kinda stand out from the white car? I'm gonna do the pink. Yay, I love how literally right as I was vlogging about not having any little organizers, I found some. Look what I found. How about these? Ooh, wait, uh. So these are like kinda more fabric-y feeling. Yeah, I feel like these are probably Better? What do you think? Because I can easily, I don't know. Those are cool too though. And then I ordered some drawer organizers online for baby girl's clothes. And those are actually going to be delivered today. I think it said by 4 p.m. And since Steven pretty much did all her laundry yesterday, that means that we can start organizing her clothes, which is going to be really, really fun. I feel like we're almost set on clothes for her. The only thing I feel like we could use a little bit more of is some zero to three month sleepers and more zero to three month onesies. So maybe one of these days I'll head over to the outlet mall. Cause I feel like I don't need to order that stuff online. It doesn't need to be super like nice or trendy or expensive. I can get it for a discount for a bargain. So maybe we'll do that in one of these upcoming vlogs. So here is what that little uh, staging area in the dining room is looking like. Two baskets of clean laundry for baby girl that are ready, ready to be organized and put away. And the drawer organizers got delivered while we were out. So I actually, I actually can start doing that right now. I think I might. It really is making it feel just so real and so soon going through. And you know, first of all, just having the nurse 
anniversary done. And then now going through and organizing everything, actually prepping it for when she gets here. It is making this all become very, very real, I think for both Steven and I. Speaking of Steven, here comes the diapers. <laughs> But I think we're gonna spend most of the rest of the day today doing more nesting and organizing and we have it all kind of prepped and we're both feeling really motivated to, to do all this right now because it's new and it's fun and it's exciting. Also, Steven's parents are coming over later tonight to see the nursery for the first time, which is gonna be really exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you very soon with a new one. Bye! Bye.